What have I told you? He was right. Put your pitchforks and torches down. Understand something. I'm a gamer at heart. Some of the best things I've seen with my own eyes were parts of video games. I was there when Mario was looking for his princess in another castle. I was there when Cloud defeated Sephiroth. I was there when Marvel and Capcom crossed over for the first time. However, when I look at what Roger Ebert and others have said about the quote-unquote story-driven narrative quality of video games... I can't help but think that maybe video games cannot be appreciated as art. The main thing that sets games apart from any other medium? Interaction. Can a video game truly be appreciated as art when you're concentrating on getting through it? Let's break this down piece by piece. First, we have to define what art is. Merriam-Webster's simple definition of art is something that is created with imagination and skill and that is beautiful or that expresses important ideas or feelings. Well, video games are certainly created with imagination and skill, the best video games require not only brainstorming concepts that have never been thought up before, or in some cases borrowing elements from previous games and giving them a new twist, but also excellent graphic design, sound design, coding skills, quality assurance, the list goes on and on. However, let's take a look at the second half of that definition. That is beautiful or that expresses important ideas or feelings. It wasn't until the turn of the millennium that video games became considered less of a just-for-fun medium, and turned into a genre where important ideas could be expressed. And while art games go back into the 80s, with Alien Garden being one of the first examples of this category, video games never really touched on what would be considered important ideas until 2005's Super Columbine Massacre RPG. In that game, you take control of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold and kill your fellow students in a Final Fantasy-esque manner. Needless to say, it generated a lot of controversy at the time and incidentally propelled its creator, Danny Ladon, into the ever-going debate on violent video games. Super Columbine Massacre RPG is now considered an art game due to its representation of an important historical event. But is that enough to call it art when games like Civilization and Call of Duty tell stories from the perspectives of historical people and events? Would it be fair to call a game about Columbine art while passing on games like Resident Evil and Earthbound, games considered masterpieces of their respective genres? Well, no, it wouldn't. However, all of the examples I've listed require a player to make choices on behalf of the protagonist, rather than the protagonist using his or her own free will and decision-making. Movies, TV shows, music, and still visual pieces, considered various forms of artistic expression, simply do not have this form of control. Because of this, it can be said that art is simply a form where you sit back and let others take control of things for a while. However, video games are essentially composed of things considered art, those things being visuals, music, and scripted storylines and events. Why would the ability to control the player character make it less of an art form? Wikipedia defines a game as a structured form of play usually undertaken for enjoyment and sometimes used as an educational tool. Games are distinct from art, which is more often an expression of aesthetic or ideological elements. Both Roger Ebert in his article Video Games Can Never Be Art and Wikipedia make a clear distinction between games like Mahjong, Chess, and Sports and art. For Ebert, one obvious difference between art and games is that you can win a game. It has rules, points, objectives, and an outcome. An immersive game without points or rules ceases to be a game and becomes a representation of a story, a novel, a play, dance, a film. Those are things you cannot win. You can only experience them. So case closed, right? Video games can't be art because there's too much you can do in them? Well, just a few months later, Ebert recanted his statement, and that was that. However, he raised a very good point which needs to be expanded on. True, you experience video games, but how much of the game are you truly experiencing? For what it's worth, there's a linear path in every other form of expression, and it allows the viewer to understand the story from beginning to end. For the most part, I still don't know what Southland Tales was about. Seriously, if you know in God's name what was going on in that movie, let me know in the comments. Video games have an open world to explore, meaning that instead of getting from point A to point B, you can go from point A to point C and point D and are required to go to point E before even thinking about reaching point B. 
That's why video games can't be appreciated as an art form. You're too busy with objectives to take the time to admire the work. So how can video games become an art form more in line with traditional media? The answer is already out there. Let's Plays. By watching people like Markiplier and PewDiePie do what they do, you are appreciating games as an art form. How? You are not directly engaging with the game and instead are watching someone else do the work of actually controlling the character. From your vantage point as a viewer, you can then appreciate not only the game's aesthetics, but the genuine reactions to the game as well. One final thought, and it feels good to do another true speculation video. I've been doing food reviews for some time, and I'm having a lot of fun doing those. Plus, needless to say, video game videos take a lot longer to make, so while I won't make anywhere near as many of these versus food reviews, rest assured I will have them. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out one more time to some of the people who are following me on Twitter. Jeff Herndon, Mike Flannery, Tammy Souza, and the phenomenal anchors and crew at Fox 32. These guys are the best news people in Chicago, and I could do a whole speculation video on why this is true. By the way, if you actually do want to see that, let me know by posting in the comments below. Or tweet me. Feedback will be vital to what I'll be doing in my next videos, and I need help on what you want to see. And speaking of what's coming up next...